All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some good changes to SSI that were recently announced by Social Security and some other potential changes that are currently being discussed. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now first off, I do want to clarify right from the start here, this video is dedicated to SSI, Supplemental Security Income. So if you're somebody who receives other benefits like retirement or SSDI, survivor, spousal, or any of the other benefits out there. I have a lot of dedicated videos here on the channel for you, but this one is specifically dedicated to SSI. And the reason for that is these changes I'm talking about here are only for SSI beneficiaries. And as you recognize, because I've said it before in many other videos, all of these programs are very, very different. Even though they're all administered by the Social Security Administration, they're all very different. The rules and the parameters are very, very different, regardless of which program we're talking about. So anyway, this one is just for SSI. So with that being said, let's get into it and I want to talk about these announcements that were recently released out of Social Security, the major changes coming into SSI, and what they're also talking about, which would also be very, very good, again, for SSI as a whole, and the beneficiaries currently receiving benefits, as well as future beneficiaries. Let's talk through the details really fast before we do. Can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you make sure to subscribe down below? It's totally free to do so. The big subscribe button waiting for you down there. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet. And also right next to that is a share button. Make sure to hit uh, hit that button and share this video with your friends on your social media so they can also see what is actually going on and some of these major changes that are coming out right now for SSI. Thank you. I truly appreciate literally every one of you here in this community. Thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. And uh, let's talk through the details of SSI, the announcements out of Social Security, and what they're doing with this. All right, so I want to come back and clarify this. Now, just a few days ago, to be 100% fair, yes, I was out in a live stream, and I did talk about the details shortly after, like moments after this hit the wire. I came out in a live stream, and I talked about all the details, but I talked about some things in that video, and again, I'm going to share it here in this one as well, but it can be a little bit confusing. Let's be real. They give all of these weird acronyms. They give all these weird names and things like this. And it can be very confusing to be like, what does this actually mean? What are these changes? And what does it mean for me as a current SSI beneficiary? And again, I want to clarify that. I'm going to break it down and use like very, very simple words to explain this. And again, I'm not saying that you don't understand. I'm just simply saying it can be very, very confusing. I want to explain exactly the changes that they implemented as well as other changes they are talking about as well that may be coming out relatively soon. And again, this is awesome because here's the thing. How long has it been since they have changed or reformed or updated SSI? <laughs> it's kind of a trick question. Decades is the answer. Decades and decades is the answer, okay? A long, long, long time ago. Years and years, decades and decades ago, okay? Okay. So essentially, they've done nothing SSI for a very long time, except for now. Okay, so let me explain the details. So a couple of days ago, we got this information out of Social Security where they said they are updating the ISM. Now, let me explain really fast what that means, and then I'll give it to you in real words that we can all understand very easily. Okay, so ISM stands for in-kind support and maintenance. Okay, again, that's just a really weird way to say if anybody that receives SSI is receiving support or maintenance is what they're calling it. Basically, if you're receiving help from anybody in the food, uh, sorry, in the form of food or shelter from maybe a family member, a roommate, um, anybody like this, a friend, an acquaintance, a stranger, literally doesn't matter. If you're getting food assistance or shelter assistance, this can and will be used against you as an SSI beneficiary and it may reduce your benefit up to a third. That's massive, right? So here's the thing. Maximum benefit right now being $943 for an individual, your benefits could be reduced by a third because of this type of assistance. That's rough, right? So anyway, I'm going to explain it to you in plain, easy, understandable words right now because that's how I need to understand things too, okay? Having this acronym of uh, ISM, like to me, means a whole lot of nothing, right? Let's just say it how it is. Support. If you're getting help from anybody for food or shelter, this was going to be used against you. However, this new ruling that just came out the other day out of Social Security starting September 30th of this year, so it's not in effect yet. The ruling has been in, uh, in place. They have ruled into, the, into favor of this, but it'll go into effect as of September 30th of this year. So basically the end of the fiscal year, the fiscal year, not the calendar year, uh, that is when this goes into effect, okay? 
But anyway, so this whole ISM thing is basically, it takes into consideration food and shelter, but they're going to be removing food from this equation. In other words, if you receive any food assistance, again, it could be from a family member, friends, acquaintances, roommates, whatever it happens to be, this may offset your benefit. But starting again, September 30th, they will no longer take food into the equation that may potentially offset somebody's benefits. And again, I know that seems like small potatoes, right? <laughs> you like that analogy there? <laughs> I know. I'm not very funny, but I, I had to throw it out there. It, it came to mind, so I thought, I, I got to throw this out there right now, <laughs> okay? So anyway, I know that is, uh, sorry, I'm not trying to like laugh at the situation. I'm not. I'm simply saying I'm laughing because it's, you know, I made a funny there, right? Um, not really, but you get my point here, okay? Anyway, my point is, I know this doesn't seem like much. Like, really? That's all they're really doing is removing food? Here's the thing, though. At the end of the day, it's something. It's something. I think we have to look at the big, big picture here, which is they're changing Social um, SSI. They're changing this program in a way that makes it more beneficial to the beneficiaries, and they're making it easier to get benefits as well as potentially higher benefits and uh, less restrictions to offset benefits. So again, we got to look at the big, big picture here as far as what this really means. Okay, it's a good thing for the beneficiaries at the end of the day. Okay, so anyway, they're removing this food. Uh, basically food assistance, and it's not going to offset your benefits anymore. So anybody can give you food. Well, I was going to say now, but not quite yet. Basically starting after September 30th. Okay, so basically call it October 1st and you're good to go. You can get food assistance all you want, and it's no longer going to offset or negatively impact an SSI beneficiary and your benefits. Not bad, right? Now remember, I know it seems really weird, uh, but yes, this is a real thing uh, that happens. Now, again, let me explain really quickly here what they're also talking about. I want to make this very clear as well. This is still in the proposal phase, but remember, it all starts out as a proposal, right? You got to get proposed or proposed before you can get married. Like, whatever, if that makes any sense, right? <laughs> anyway, you get my point here, okay? So anyway, this is something that I was proposing is that potentially reducing shelter assistance as in rental assistance, uh, pot potentially even removing that from the equation as well. That would be very helpful for a lot of people because are there a lot of SSI beneficiaries who are possibly getting some type of rental assistance, maybe from a friend, a family member, maybe somebody who's allowing you to live with them for free or very reduced rents, things like this? Yeah, this would also be very beneficial for beneficiaries. Now, again, I said it a second ago, and I'm going to say it again really quickly. This is still in the proposal phase. This one has not been approved yet, but it's something that may be coming relatively soon. Remember, in that press conference and the information that I... Uh, well, not press conference, sorry, press release and the information that I shared with you the other day in that live stream and the, the link that I gave you in that live stream, at the very bottom of it said, it said something like, stay tuned or continue watching for further SSI updates over the coming months. Uh, it was something like that along those lines. That was not exactly word for word. But my point is they alluded to more changes coming. So this may be really good and why we need to continue watching this. Now, a couple other things that we need to continue watching as well. No promises on either of these, but I'm just simply saying we've got to watch this very, very closely is, do they potentially remove the marriage penalty? That's a really bad one. And again, I know a lot of you here in this community are really wondering about this. I see it down below in the comment section. I see it on the on the live streams in the chat box. I see a lot of you reaching out saying, what have they done with the, the marriage penalty? Unfortunately, the marriage penalty is still there. They have not done anything with it, but there's a lot of lawmakers that have signed on the legislation and co-signed and backed and supported legislation to say, let's remove the marriage penalty, right? That's a really, really bad one. It's been in there basically since inception of this program, what, 50 couple years ago, 52 years ago, uh, when this program started out. And um, it's been there for a long time. They need to remove the marriage penalty. This one is unfortunately impacting uh, beneficiaries in a major way, right? A lot of people that are having their benefits reduced majorly because of being married. I don't know. Something about that seems super messed up, right? But that's the reality of it. Now, I want to point this other one out. And again, I'm going to preface it by saying, nope, it has not happened yet. Nope, it has not been approved yet. But let's just continue to keep this one on the radar. Remember, they also want to raise benefits up to the federal poverty line. Now, again, this would be a major, major, major win for SSI beneficiaries if they actually did this. But this is something that would be massively helpful for beneficiaries if they did a couple of these other things. 
as in raising benefits up to the federal poverty line as well, okay? So that's another one that's out there. Again, I, I just want to say, no promises on those. I don't know what they're going to do. All I know is that they're talking about it. They're making some uh, minor adjustments. They're making some changes here, which is good. That's how things start. Think of it this way. It's just like an avalanche, right? I mean, that's not like a really good analogy. I mean, av avalanches are not like the best thing in the world, but is it like a huge, huge slide that start that kicks it off. No, it's usually like a little tiny ripple, like a little snowball at the top of the mountain that starts the whole thing and then boom, the whole thing goes down, right? My point is, it doesn't take much. It's one little adjustment, one little teeny tiny snowflake at the top that starts the whole thing to unravel, right? That's my point here is one little change like removing food from the ISM here is actually good for the beneficiaries and it's the start of potentially a flow of other changes that may be coming into SSI. So pretty good stuff. This is great, okay? Anyway, I hope that explains a little bit further. In that live stream the other day, I did discuss the details about this. And again, I know that some of these acronyms and weird words like this can make it a little bit confusing to be like, okay, it sounds cool, but uh, what does it really mean for my benefit and uh, my money at the end of the day? Well, this is what it means, okay? So I hope I explain this in a little bit more easy terms to understand. And again, I know you get this stuff, but sometimes we just need to explain it in very, very simple terms. Like they're removing food from potentially reducing your benefit. Boom, there you go, right? That's what it comes down to. Because remember, the current rules are right now, if I were to walk past you on the street and hand you a bag of groceries and just be like, here, you know, I just had this bag of groceries. I'm sick of carrying it. Do you want to have it? And you're like, sure, I'd love to have this. Great, that's awesome. That would be technically something that could be used against you to reduce your benefit, right? Well, as of September 30th of this year, so, you know, a handful of months out from now, it's no longer going to impact benefits. Does that make sense? So anyway, that's what it comes down to as of now. But let's stay tuned on this. Let's continue to watch it very closely and uh, hopefully they'll come up with some other changes on this. So anyway, I hope that explains a little bit further here. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to stick that down below in the comment section. I will do what I can to come back and uh, answer those questions for you or make another dedicated video. Whatever I need to do for you, I'm here for you as much as I possibly can be. So again, please subscribe subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends on your social media. Again, big subs uh, subscribe button and share button down below. Share this out with them. Otherwise, go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including the ones in the video library, thousands of them there. Otherwise, the ones that I have linked down below in the description or the top of the comment section, I've hand selected those for you or the ones that you see on your screen now. And uh, make sure to check out that live stream as well from the other day. So hope this helps you again. Enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one and check out the videos on your screen and I'll see you again later in the next